How's it going, chicks mates? This is Mr. DeCharles, and we're here with Tropico 5. Okay, I'm a huge fan of this game. I actually am. It's a management kind of game where you basically make your own island, um, trade stuff, and, I don't know, thrive off that, I guess. Be a tourist attraction. But I wanted to get to this game a um, few reasons. A, it's awesome, and I like sharing awesome games on my channel. But B, it's kind of like Zoo Tycoon in the sense, I can't beat it. So I'm going to just have you guys, like, monitor me whilst I try and beat it. And then I'll probably take, like, a year or so before I get back to the game. But anyway, you know, we're here for some good tropical time. We need a little vacation in our paradise island. So, let's start the game. Uh, we do not need a tutorial. I'll just... I, I basically know kind of what we're doing. And you know me and tutorials don't mix well. I want to do a campaign. Uh, changing the world. Um... Please completely ignore the fact my boyfriend has put saves known as Reese's Penis. And that was also totally him and not me. Anyway, um, that's very appropriate. Rodriguez? No, I would not like that. I believe my name is Mr. Tichar. I, I just wanted to make an old reference there, you know. Oh, this is very nice. But, oh, look at look all this art. Whoa. Oh, we're starting this off sim style. Can we rotate the person? We can rotate the person. Oh uh, yes! Man, you know what? He looks perfect how he is. Would you not do a political, diplomatic, um, deal with this man right here? Uh, well, I want to keep him male. I don't have anything against female dictators, just, you know. Because that is the thing, I think a lot of people in this game are kind of, like, dictator-ish. Uh, there are so- Nacho? I can name this guy after food. Oh, and the last name's my name. Nacho Mr. Jachar. Oh, that is very tempting. What else have we got? Uh, Orlando. Orlando Mr. Jachar. Pablo. Pancho. Okay. What about anything not beginning with P? What about... Wait, there's one with Q. Quirs. <laughs> Quirs. Oh, what kind of cruel parent calls their child Quirs? We're doing that. Um... Oh, so, okay, so basically when you have a dictator or, I don't know, political diplomat, whatever, they have certain abilities you can give them. Um, I mean, I care about the environment, but I don't think I'm going to care that much in this game. Ooh, money. Grants 200 additional income. Administrator? I could be an agent! Detect hidden roles in Tropico 20% faster. You see, the thing is, I know, like... I know I played this game before. I don't know what any of this is talking about. Uh, let me a financier, financier or financer. Uh, race Asian. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, if you started Asian, why not? Don't want to change that sexy face. I love it. Hold on. The mirror's not copying what he does. Did anyone see that? The was that just me? I thought five seconds ago the mirror was not copying what he was doing. I must be being delusional. Never mind. Anyway, um, yeah, that seems fine. Quirse. Oh, I get to dress you up too. The next stage. Can I give you a personality? See there? Look! They're different! I've got a doppelganger. I've heard all the game just wasn't well made. Heaven forbid. Um, well, I mean, I do like Greaser, but what else have we got? Uh, I don't want to be Napoleon, thank you very much. I'm not France. Why would you be an astronaut in the middle of a, like, a, a paradise island? Uh, yeah, doppelganger, please stop. Stop scaring me. Oh, then we've got a literal Napoleon. Why not? Uh, I don't know. I kind of like Greaser. I'll stick with that. Uh, do I have, like, a white shirt? Then I'd look like a proper, you know, 50s. Yes! Oh, God, yes! I am from the 1950s. Have an amazing mustache, and I'm Asian. Now I'll keep those jeans. I'm definitely keeping that mustache. I'm like more powerful than the Monopoly man with this mustache. Oh, man, Quirse. <sighs> he can manipulate mirrors and control countries. This is like Lex Luthor, and I don't really know any doppelganger characters in the DC universe or Marvel or anything. I'd say Facilia, but that's more shadows and Dracula just doesn't appear in mirrors. Anyway, we don't need to worry about Quirce's supernatural abilities. <gasps> Aha! Oh, do I really want to cover up that, that bulb patch, though? Cowboy. Uh, 
cylinder. Yeah, I can be a capitalist in a greaser's um, uniform. Oh, God, what the hell is that? Uncle Pedro is very strange. A fez? Uh, I can... <laughs> I'm going to try to take this somewhat seriously and not give him a hat. Oh, Lennon glasses. Yes. God, look at that. Oh, that is just like... I was thinking... I think I was thinking Alexander Anderson from Helsing. But then just the glasses, because you can't see his eyes. Fuck it, let's just stop the game. Ooh, cutscenes! You know those people who establish dynasties so powerful that their names echo through the centuries? Kind of. One of them. New world, new opportunities, no limits. This island of mine could become anything. It could be a farmer's heaven, the fields reaching the horizon, and the markets full of people. And cows walk down the streets. And there's countless llamas. A production powerhouse with chimneys reaching the sky and docks busy with all sorts of exotic goods. And people are horses, as seen in the last oh, scene. Could be the paradise on earth. A magnet for travelers from all over the world. A place for fiesta and fun. Sir, we're docking the ship, sir. But now, he's just a dirt poor piece of land in the middle of the ocean. Let's make it shine. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, okay, we've got options. Mission, a new dawn. Win your independence. Are we dependent on someone here? So I can change the... Uh, Alright, so... How do, how do I want to make this, like, average... I, mean, I don't know how hard this game's gonna be. Do I really want occasional disasters? Oh, I'll just leave the options. I mean, if I lose, then whatever. I could play on Cow de Fortuna or Bow Bow. Cow de Fortuna. Bow Bow. I mean, Cow de Fortuna sounds nice, but Bow Bow's got a funny name. I tell you what, I'm gonna go Bow Bow. Just for you guys. I'm sure you guys are thinking. Fuck yes, bow bow. You, you don't want that other, like, fortune of crap. Plus, I played fortune a few times before. I just got played them. The Caribbean, a lush and untamed land. Mm -hmm. My new home. Beautiful and full of promise. A new beginning, far from the politics of the old world. A chance okay. to start fresh and do things my way. I'm tired of the musty weather and rigid thinking back home. I need a change. I was appointed governor of this island. Not that anyone else wanted the job anyway. My unique approach to government will make this colony the most prosperous in the Caribbean. <laughs> How hard can it be? You just need some planks, a few nails, and a trusty advisor to shout at. Why do I feel like he sounds like Joseph Stalin? Welcome to the oh. Caribbean. Allow me to introduce myself, Lord Hello there. Oaksworth, His Majesty's emissary to the region. Ah, oh, British people are taking over. Basically me. I'm taking over myself. Oh, you're not going to finish the rest of your sentence. I guess I'll have to do it for you. His Majesty has graciously given you this colony to rule in his name for a number of years, indicated by your mandate. Yeah, if that doesn't spell dick, I don't know what it does spell. Oh, and now funky music has come out of nowhere. I'll, I'll just turn that down a bit. Complete the tasks sent by his majesty, and I'll make sure that you get extensions to your term as governor. So we're trying to gain independence from you. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, ooh. We have a nice little island here. A farm that grows... Tomatoes? Nope, corn. Doesn't look like it's very good corn. None of it's grown yet. Whatever, cool. What else we got? We got uh, houses. We got shacks. Oh, good. Homeless people are already on our island. Okay, so this seems good. Um, so these blue things are objectives. If you get a red one, it's like a really urgent one that allows you to, like, I don't know, advance age or something. But we'll get to that later. How can I make my people, or me, or... Um, 
Lord Dixworth happy. Greetings, old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? Have As you? Crown representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. You know, in a way, I'm very glad he only does the first sentence because I don't think I can take his whole voice for that whole paragraph. All right. Um, I'm not actually sure how important trading is. I have got a lot of money though. I don't. I've, um, I'll go silver because silver just seems safe. What do you want, house? My um, my palace. Yes, this is where I live, and this is where my people deserve to live. I am truly not a dictator. I believe in equal rights. Anyway, His Majesty oh, needs money to build a new underwater palace. He Does he? Wants you to begin growing money. I mean, one of those crops that make heaps of cash. Got to think about that, Majesty. Okay, so we've got to build a plantation. A sugar plantation. Now, this is where the game starts to get interesting. Because you make your island and you, like, make your resources. And then you trade to try and keep yourself going and stuff. Oh. Why is... Who the hell is Stronzolino? Okay, we'll ignore Stronzolino ever existed. So we've got plantation. Uh, various areas are red and green. Based on how much they have of a certain thing. So I need sugar. Oh, and there's loads of sugar over here. That's convenient. I'll make sure I can fit as much crop as I can. I would destroy some homeless shelters. But I'm not a complete dick. Yet. Boom. Okay, that starts building... Um, I think basically they come from these offices. Yeah, construction office and Teamsters. They kind of like combine resources and they build the place. And then that's um, how it goes. And I can fast forward time. So yeah, everything's working out nicely so far. We don't have a volcano on this island, do we? I mean, I won't be able to tell for sure, but... You know, I don't trust this island. His Royal oh. Majesty has instructed... Yay! With this letter of commendation. Thank you, Jesus Majesty. In the name of the Empire. Okay, so because I did that task, I get some money. Or, well, what I want, actually. So basically, you got money, which allows you to build stuff, obviously. You get a Swiss bank, which is like upgrading your, the main guy we made, Quirce, who we're probably not going to see that much anyway, but whatever. Uh, or you can get some other stuff, like a mandate extension, which allows me to, like, be... What am I, president? Just president for longer, I guess. And then fresh con list, which is just people coming in. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm going to get some treasure. Because I need to get some shit here. Um, what else does this place want of me? Why are there so many homeless people outside my house? I mean, I don't build houses that much, but still. Oh, look, it's Rio. Technological progress is the path to autonomy, governor. Yes. We need more scientists. To think important thoughts and discover new stuff. Are you our revolutionist? Are you going to destroy the island because you don't agree with um, unequal rights? As the governor of this island, I believe that the capitalists shall rule. I don't actually believe that, but you know, I'm just going to be a bit of a twat whilst I can. Because I own this island. Equal rights are me living in a palace. All animals are equal, but some are more equal than others. Yes, I just quoted Animal Farm. I've always wanted to quote that on my channel at some point. I just didn't know when I'd do it. Anyway, library. People need to read. They need an education. Uh, oh, there we go. I was wondering where the hell it was. Oh, uh, that's good. Yeah, that's great. So the money the Royal Majesty just gave me um, is being spent on a library for my individuals. Because, you know, I wonder if they're going to be able to, like, resource this library. No? Am I paying for it? Could have bought a new car or something. Well, then again, like, $5,000 for a library, that's pretty good. In my opinion. Uh, okay, so that's building. And then that lovely revolutionist, which I don't want to anger because then she could completely destroy my society. We'll be happy. People trying to be horses. Look at that guy go. And this is normal speed. Look at him run. He can just gallop place to place. Where is he going? Oh, oh okay. Is he ever going to come back out? He was going in number one, but... Oh, was that him there? Can I select him? 
Oh, they have actual individual identities. Grass. Oh, wait, you can't see it yet. Hold on. All right, the good news is I've like moved the screen for you guys so you can read who Graciela Mendes is. The bad news is I've lost where Graciela is. Graciela! Um, I don't know what- is this Spanish or is it Mexican? Or is it, um, another, um, culture I can be racist to? Where the hell is Graci- there you are, Graciela! Uh, so you're 32, uh, you're born there. Education, high school. She lives in a shack. Wow, and she's broke. Oh, I could get her killed. I could banish her. I could discredit Graciela Mendez. Well, that's good. I truly am Stalin. I can do whatever I want to my people. What is that symbol? Whoa. We are rule in secret. We are the salvation of mankind. We are the order, and you will be one of us. Oh, thank you very much, Leon Kane. Alright, um, I think we're gonna end the episode here. I just wanted to introduce Tropico. A few apologies to the fact that my video cam's gonna probably be everywhere, because in the top right, you have stuff coming up, and on the left you have some things happening, like, I don't know, a building getting demolished, or, um, communism taking over. But you know what? This should still be a fun game, and I'm looking forward to playing this with you guys. So, if you want to play the game yourself, you can get it on Steam. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can also buy the game on PS4, which is what I'm doing, but, you know... My computer can't take games this good, but my PlayStation 4 can, so what are you going to do? And without further ado, look off my books, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, see ya!